Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I'm here with a 73 questions video for you. I originally saw this on Hannah Mag's channel and really enjoyed listening to her answers. I think it gave us like a chance to get to know her a bit better. So I thought I would do the same video basically with the same questions but I will link her um, video down below so you can go and check hers out and I would recommend if you don't already follow her definitely follow her because she does really great videos and she's a lovely person so I have my notebook with 73 questions written down in it the same 73 questions that Hannah Mags answered and I'm just going to try and go through them fairly quickly I don't want to try and explain each question I will just sort of try and fire them out. I've written them down obviously but I haven't really thought about the answers as well so it's going to be quite like off the cuff. So we'll see how we get on but um, yeah let's get started otherwise this is going to be a super long video. So question number one. What is, what's the best thing that's happened to you this month? Um, what is the best thing that's happened to me this month? I don't know, I turned 28 this month. Is that a good thing? Bad thing? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it gave me a chance to celebrate a lot with my family and friends, which was nice. And yeah, to just like appreciate the people that I have around me. So I'd say that was probably the best thing. Number two, what's, a best, what's the best thing that happened to you this year? I think probably it was like both of my brothers getting married over the summer. So both Richard and David got married this summer. And although it didn't happen to me, I think it probably was the best part of the year because it's so nice to see them happy with their respective other halves so that was quite nice number three what's the best thing ever oh my goodness um that's a really tough question i think it's hard to like whittle it down to one single thing but just i think the best thing ever is the people that i've met more like more often than not it's been through being ill um, and I have met some really amazing people and also just having a really amazing family to support me um, is definitely the best thing in my life. Number four, what's your favourite season? I think I'd have to go for autumn because I love the like changing in the leaves and the colours. I love how like cosy you can start making it with candles and fairy lights and things like that. Um, it's my birthday in autumn so that's always a good thing. Um, I do love spring as well but I think autumn probably just like pips it to the post. Number five, what's your favourite holiday? I'm guessing this means a holiday that I've been on rather than a holiday as in like Christmas or something. My favourite holiday, I went to New York with my dad a few years ago, quite a few years ago now and that was pretty amazing. I would love to go back there one day and when I came home I cried because I wanted to go back so much. So I'd say that was probably my favourite holiday, although going to Disneyland Paris was also pretty well up there because I love a bit of Disney. Um, number six, would you ever live anywhere else besides where you live now? I am quite a home girl in that I like to be near my family. I think if I could move anywhere with like my whole family and all my friends, I would quite like to live by the sea somewhere so um, I don't know Brighton or just anywhere that's like near the sea Cornwall I love Cornwall it look, it's so beautiful down there and I would definitely love to spend more time down there um, but I'm pretty happy with where I live I don't know if I'd want to live abroad because again I just like being at home where I am now but I suppose if I if I had all my home comforts and all my family and stuff with me I guess it would be quite fun to live abroad for a bit and just see what it's like. Number seven, what's the biggest surprise you've ever had? Um, I think it was probably finding out my mum was pregnant with my youngest sister, Rebecca. So I would have been about nine or ten when she told us and um, Rebecca was unexpected <laughs> um, but certainly very much loved and I was old enough at that point to understand um, pregnancy and the fact that I was going to have another sister or brother or sister because we didn't know what she was. Um, so my mum and dad telling me that I was going to have another brother, brother or sister was definitely a massive surprise and I was hugely excited about it. Number eight, what's a surprise that made you cry? Um, 
really think of anything that's made me cry in a happy way. Like there's been like horrible surprise, like shocks more than surprises, I suppose, like when people have died. But I can't really think of anything that's been a surprise that has really made me cry. Might have to come back to you on that one. Uh, number nine, what's your favourite dessert? This is quite a difficult one. I really love Black Forest Gatto and I also love tiramisu, so one or the other. Number ten, cake or pie? Definitely cake. I love cake. Doesn't love me so much, but yeah, <laughs> that's another story. But yeah, cake, cake is definitely much preferable. Uh, number eleven, what is your least favourite food? I really, really do not like raw tomatoes. I've tried to like them, I just cannot stand them. They make me gag. Ugh, no. Cooked tomatoes, fine. Not raw tomatoes. Number 12. What's your favourite condiment? I'd have to say it was probably tomato ketchup, which isn't a particularly <laughs> exciting condiment, but it's probably the one that I would go to the most. 13. It's brunch. What do you eat? I really like things like pancakes with bacon and maple syrup, um, or what else do I like? French toast, um, poached, egg with poached eggs with avocado. I think brunch is just a really good meal and if I was able to eat a bit more I would definitely be going out for brunch a lot more. 14. What is your favourite colour? You have probably noticed by now that I have a lot of pink stuff. So pink is definitely my favourite colour, but I also really like just like general pastel colours um, and yeah, like lilacs and mint greens and all that kind of stuff. But pink has always been my favourite colour. Number 15, what colour dress did you wear to your prom? So for my year 11 prom, which was like the end of um, senior school, I had a red dress, much like this one actually, this colour here. Um, I'd always wanted a pink dress and then when I went to try dresses on the red one I just really liked it so I had a red dress for that one and then I had two sixth form proms. The first one I wore like um, a sort of greeny blue colour like a turquoisey colour and then the other one I had more of like a patterned dress from warehouse or something like that. Um, so my official prom dress was red. Number 16 blow dry or air dry? I tend to blow dry my hair just because I cannot be bothered to wait for it to dry. Like maybe in the summer I'll like let it air dry when it's like nice and warm and stuff but when it's cold I hate going around with wet hair so I much prefer to have a blow dry. 17. Who's your fashion icon? I don't think I've got like one fashion icon. I really get a lot of my inspiration from like YouTube and blogs and social media and Instagram and stuff like that and just kind of sort of pick and see which bits of I like of like different people so I don't think I have like one specific icon it's more of a collective thing. Uh, number 18 choose a person you would love to have coffee with. Uh, I'm guessing this has to be a person that is still alive so I don't know there's loads of people I love to have coffee with like I love going out to coffee with my mum um, I love meeting up with some of my friends for coffee, especially the ones that I don't see that much. Um, it's always nice to really like see them and go out for coffee, so that's not really one answer, but that that is like the general idea of who I would like to go with. Um, number 19. How do you like your coffee? I'm actually not that much of a coffee person, I'm definitely more of a tea person. Um, I really love like the... Um, coffees you can get from like Starbucks and Costa that are like syrups and all that kind of thing. The pumpkin spice latte is one of my favourites. Um, but if I'm just having a normal coffee I just tend to have a latte. I don't have sugar or anything, just a bit of like coconut milk or something. Um, and that's about it. Number 20. Who's the last person you text? Let me have a wee look in my phone. I think really need a new phone case. Um, the last person I text was my friend Sarah. Um, basically I bought her little boy Charlie um, a little like pumpkin sleep suit um, which he's wearing today. It's Halloween today. This video may well go up quite a lot later but it is Halloween today. Um, so she texted me a photo of him saying how much he loves it and I texted her back saying how cute he looks in it because he does. He looks really cute. 
number 21 Twitter or Instagram I think I would probably have to go for Instagram just because I spend a lot more time on it and I love looking at photos I do try and use Twitter but most of my time goes towards Instagram 22 who should everyone follow right now um, definitely go follow Hannah Mags, who I've already mentioned. Um, I also enjoy watching the Sacconi Jolies, um, Louise Penton, Sprinkle of Glitter, Zoella. Um, I love watching like a lot of mummy bloggers as well. I like Mrs Meldrum, I like Emily Norris. Um, I also love watching Becca Rose, Just Jodes. Uh, who else do I like watching? The Mitchell Axe, who like Hannah Mags is part of. Um, oh gosh, there's just so many like amazing YouTubers out there at the moment. So, yeah, just just like keep looking and like I always look on my like recommended views and like watch the videos and see if I can discover anyone new. So, I will try and remember to link all those people down below so that you can go follow them if you don't already. Number twenty three. Have you ever had anything stolen from you? I can't think that I've had anything like particularly of worth stolen. Like. When I was at school you used to get like your rubber stolen from your pencil case or something like that but I don't, I can't really think of anything sort of, you know, of much significance that I've had stolen. Um, someone did put a, try and create a Facebook profile um, with me so kind of had my identity stolen a little bit but that was sorted out fairly quickly which was, which was quite good. Number 24, favourite country you visited? I would have to say it was probably New York, America. I've been to America twice um, and have really loved it and it's somewhere that I would love to go again. So I think that's probably the favourite place that I've visited. 25, the last country you visited. Oh my gosh, I haven't been abroad for ages. I think the last time I went abroad may have been to France. It's seriously been that long since I've been away anywhere. I actually can't remember, but I think it was probably France because I think I went to stay in my aunt and uncle's villa um, in Calian, which was absolutely beautiful and I would love to go back there. 26, country you wish to visit. Now this is a really hard one because there are so many places in the world that I want to see. I would love to go um, back to America and go to Florida and do Disney. I would love to visit Australia, we have cousins out there and Australia is a place I've always wanted to go and just experience. Um, New Zealand looks amazing, like there's a lot of places in Europe that I'd love to go to, like I haven't even been to Scotland <laughs> before so I'd quite like to go to Scotland, um, but I'd love to go to Italy and, and Switzerland and oh, I just want to see the world basically and it's quite hard when you're ill to do that kind of thing but yeah there are so many places that I would love to go and see. Number 27, first pet. My first pet was a little hamster called Ginger. As you can imagine he had ginger fur. Number 28, favourite Disney animal. Oh that is a hard one. Um, I love the Lion King so I like like Simba and Nala. I love 101 Dalmatians, I really love the little like fat dog, is it Rolly or something, I think he's really cute. Um, oh, just too many to choose from, I just love Disney, Dumbo is so cute. Yeah, I'm not answering this very well because I just keep giving you like a list of like all these different answers but hey, it's my video, that's what I'm doing. 29, what are you doing tomorrow? I am hopefully going to go shopping with my mum because I really want to go and look around Primark. I've got some money in vouchers for my birthday that I would quite like to spend and I haven't really kind of bought a huge amount for my sort of autumn winter wardrobe yet so I would quite like to go and see what I can find and also I just want to spend some quality time with my mum so that is hopefully what I am doing tomorrow as long as I feel well enough. Number 30, what are you most excited about in life right now? Um, I'm not really sure, like, I suppose it's a mixture of things. I'm quite excited about uni, although I'm finding it quite difficult. It's, like, exciting being able to do it, or trying to do it, and, and all the kind of things we're doing there. Um, I'm excited about the way, like, our family is growing, like, with my brothers getting married, and, like, the prospect of, like, maybe babies on the horizon and stuff. Um... 
it would be even more exciting if there was a nice man out there that was uh, my other half but you know <laughs> maybe in the future um I suppose, I suppose it's just exciting seeing like what might happen next really kind of a mixture of exciting and scary so that is probably what I would go for 31 a movie you laugh the hardest at oh goodness I'm trying to think what movies I've watched recently. Oh, I watched, um, I went to the cinema to see Absolutely Fabulous. That was pretty hilarious. I laughed quite a lot at that. I went with my dad and we were in hysterics quite a lot of the time. 32, a book you read because everyone else was reading it. I think I probably read um, Me Before You just because I'd seen so many people reading it. It kind of had been on my radar, but it wasn't particularly one that I was like going to read that much but I heard so many people talking about it and also with the film coming out I wanted to read the book before I went and saw the film so that's probably like the most recent one that I've read that kind of because of the hype 33 what are you completely bored of right now um I'm bored of having rubbish health that is something that I think I'll always be bored about um I'm bored of this whole like um American election with Trump and everything it's just it's just getting ridiculous now to be honest um yeah those two things i think are the things i am most bored about 34 what's your favorite beverage i love a good cup of tea i think that is probably my favorite because no matter how i'm feeling if i sit down with a nice cup of tea it just means i can chill out and i love like most teas like a gem like a bog standard cup of tea is great but also love like fruit teas and all that kind of thing so there's just something for every occasion i think 35. What's your favourite cocktail? Ooh, I don't drink that much alcohol just because it tends to like make me feel quite unwell. Um, I don't know, I love like a strawberry daiquiri, um, sex on the beach. I had a really nice cocktail at Bill's for my birthday. It was like a hedgerow fizz or something. It was like Prosecco with um, like black currant or something. That was really nice. 36. What would you order at a drive through I don't tend to do drive throughs very much just because I don't get on very well with like fast food and stuff but if I do have a cheeky McDonald's I'll either go for a double cheeseburger like a plain double cheeseburger I don't like all the stuff in it um, and fries or um, more recently I had one of their like veggie burgers which I quite liked or a McChicken sandwich um, yeah one of them ones 37. What's one thing you still have from your childhood? Um, what do I have from my childhood? Somewhere in one of my drawers I've got my first pair of shoes which are rather cute. Um, I also have, it's not really from my childhood but I did get him like when I first got ill which was like 15 and now I'm 28. Um, it's my teddy Jake. I've still got him. He's looking a little bit worse for wear but um, yeah I got him. I think my mum's probably got a load of stuff like away, like locked away somewhere that's from my childhood. Oh, I've got all my christening presents as well. So I do have quite a lot of things from my childhood actually. 38. What is your favourite current TV show? I have been loving watching The Missing. I used to like not be into like all these murder mystery things and now like any murder mystery out there I will just watch it because I just love it. The missing is quite scary and it's not like we I always watch it like when it's on which is like nine o'clock at night and then I always end up having nightmares but I just love it. It's so good so that's probably one of my favourite and like the Bake Off's just finished as well like in massive contrast um, but I really enjoyed watching the Bake Off and I'm very very sad that it's going to Channel 4. Um, number 39 What's a movie that made you cry? I cry at most things. I, I'm terrible. Like, Marley and me, oh my god. Like, I can't watch the end when the dog dies. It's terrible. Like, I've, even when I read the book, I was in tears. That made me cry. I cry at Disney films. It's terrible. I remember ugh, the, there was one film that, like, made me, like, proper ball my eyes out. And I was at the cinema with my friend. This was quite a while ago, but it had Will Smith in it. And I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but basically it was like quite near the end and he had like a transplant 
um, like the guy died and all his sort of different things were, were transplanted and one of the people got his corneas um, and could see for the first time. I can't remember what the story was but it just it made me go it was terrible like I was I came out of the cinema like tears streaming down my face that is the most I have cried at any film I think 40 if you had a superpower what would it be I think it'd be quite fun to be invisible just so you could like see what other people like do when you're not around or talk about when you're not around um it would also be quite fun to time travel I'd like I don't know would I want to go into the future and see what what how what things happened i'm not sure if i would actually i think invisibility would probably be fun we'll go with invisibility 41 what's something you can't do there's a hell of a lot of things i can't do um i can't walk very well but we're not gonna i don't want to go into all like the negative stuff um i can't sing i'm pretty crappy at singing let's go let's go with that um yeah we'll go with that <laughs> 42, what are your nicknames? I don't really have that, like, many, like, decent nicknames. When I was a lot younger, my dad used to call me Jenny Wren, and occasionally he still does. Um, one of my friends calls me JC, like, because my initials. Um, Jen, Jens, Jenny, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't really have a very exciting nickname, I'm afraid. 43, what makes you laugh a lot? My family, my siblings make me laugh a lot. My pets make me laugh a lot. Um, I've got some friends that really make me chuckle. Um, just like people doing goofy things and not caring about what they look like or what other people are going to think of them. That's what tends to make me laugh. 44. What does creativity mean to you? I think with creativity it's about feeling free to express who you are and your thoughts and your feelings and just finding a way that you can do that so whether it's like painting or dance or singing or and you know there's so many ways you can be creative and I think it is just about that whole freedom of expressing yourself in a way that feels comfortable for you. 45. What's the most adventurous thing you've done? I'm not a particularly adventurous person. Um, I climbed over the O2 recently. That was like a special wheelchair climb that I did. That was quite adventurous. I'd love to be more adventurous and do more like exciting stuff, but it's not always that simple. Um, but it's definitely something that I would like to work on, I think. 46. What's one thing you've wanted to do but have been scared of? Um, what have I wanted to do? I think I've wanted to try like online dating a bit more. Like I'm on Tinder but I don't get on particularly well with Tinder. Um, I guess I'm just a bit scared about putting myself out there and what people will think of me and it's something that I really need to like get over soon because like yeah it just needs to happen um so i guess that's one thing that i'd quite like to do <clears throat> 47 what's the thing you're most proud of this is going to sound really cheesy but i think i am most proud of the fact that i'm still here um there's just been a hell of a lot of stuff in life that has kind of fought against me like with with illness and mental health and all that kind of stuff there have been so many times when I could have given up and when I have almost given up but I've always somehow fought back and I'm still here today and I'm still trying and it's not easy but I think that's probably what I'm most proud of the fact that I just keep going <laughs> 48. What did you want to do with your life at age 5? Um, there were a few different things that I was like interested in. I either wanted to be a vet or I wanted to be like a nurse or a doctor. So something where I could help either people or animals. I used to like dress up as a nurse in my little like dressing up costumes and yeah I just 
I think I really that's what I really wanted to do and that's kind of like like not gone really it's something especially like being a doctor I suppose is something that I have always wanted to do like throughout my whole life um and unfortunately it's just not possible but yeah like I guess helping people more generally is just something that I'm quite aware of wanting to try and do all the time <clears throat> 49. What's the thing you wish you knew at age 19? Um, age 19... Ugh. I don't know. I'd love to say, like, that I wish I knew that things got better, but I don't... But they, they don't always get better, that's the thing. I think maybe I wish I knew that I was stronger than I felt. I felt quite in a bad place when I was 19, sort of 18, 19, and that, like, I was a failure and that nothing was going right and all this kind of stuff, and I kind of wish I understood that I didn't always have to do things how everyone else was doing them and that just because I wasn't following the same path as everybody else, like, it didn't mean that I, what I was doing wasn't, like, valuable. Does that make sense? That, that's kind of what I wish I knew, that I could just be an individual and didn't have to be like anybody else. Number 50. What's the most important thing someone can learn? I think the most important thing that anybody can learn is to be themselves. I know this sounds really cheesy and really cliche, but I don't know, I feel like when you're quite young you want to be like everybody else and it can take a long time to feel like being yourself is okay but I think that is probably the most important thing for anybody to be able to do is to understand that being themselves is all right. 51. What's the bravest thing you've ever done? Um, I don't know I mean I could say like some of the like medical procedures and stuff that I've been through I've been brave but I don't necessarily see that as being brave because I don't feel like I've had a choice to as to whether I could do those things or not it's just been something that I've had to get through um I think being able to talk about my health and mental health on like the television and in magazines and things like that has taken a lot of bravery because I've always worried that people would judge me um or you know see me as something that I didn't want them to see so it's taken a lot for me to be able to speak out about stuff like even on my channel here um so I think that's probably the bravest thing that I've ever done 52 what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done being spontaneous is quite difficult because with my health I have to plan quite a lot um so I can't be as spontaneous as I think I would like to be um have I done anything spontaneous? I think when I was like at uni for a bit in Portsmouth I did quite a lot of spontaneous things that maybe weren't always the best things to do but like at that like well I wasn't there that long for like three months. In that three months I possibly pushed myself to do more stuff just because of the situation that I was in. Um, so I guess that was quite a spontaneous thing to do. Um, I need to be more spontaneous, basically, is the, is the answer to that question. 53. What's your favourite scented candle? Oh, that is a really hard question because I love candles. Um, I'm a big Yankee Candle fan. I like all the, like, fruity scents. I like some of the sweet scents, but as long as they're not too sweet. Um, I love, like, the Christmassy scents and stuff like that that come out. Um... So, oh, I don't know, I can't pick like one scented candle. Um, what I would really love to try is anything from Bath & Body Works, but we don't have it in the UK and just trying to order it sort of from overseas costs a bomb. So, you know, um, but yeah, anything like fruity or sweet. I don't really like ones that are like too floral or spicy or anything like that. Um, but yeah, anything, anything of like the other ones. 54. If you could spend three months anywhere, where would it be? <laughs> My automatic thought is to say Disney World. 
but I don't know, would three months in Disney World just be a little bit too much? Um, I think like realistically probably Australia because I think three months would kind of give you enough time to like really fit into the lifestyle and get to know the place and like look around and all that kind of stuff. I think I would find it incredibly hard to spend three months in Australia and be away from my family and friends for that long but I think it would be an amazing opportunity. 55. Would you describe yourself as messy or neat? I'd kind of describe myself as a like mixture of the two. I am a very neat person and I like things to be tidy and organised and like just right but in practice I'm not that good at actually achieving that. Um, like I'm just looking at my room at the moment and it is a mess partly because of time and energy and partly because there's just always something better to be doing than tidying so like in my head I'm a neat person in practice I'm not such a neat person 56 what's the first thing you do each morning the first thing I do each morning is probably press snooze on my alarm 57 what do you have for breakfast I will usually either have porridge with coconut milk or I will have some home, homemade muesli with coconut milk. 58. What's the last thing you do before you go to bed? Um, the last thing I do before I go to bed is probably set my alarm. Um, yeah, I tend to set a lot of alarms because I'm rubbish at getting up. So the last thing I do is probably set my alarm. 59. What's one skill you wish you had? Um, I really wish I was good at singing. I just, I watch people like, I don't know, on X Factor and stuff or I listen to stuff and I sing along and sometimes in my head I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm really good, like, I'm really good, I could be like a Adele or something and then like, in reality I'm like, no, I'm not at all good. It would just be lovely to just be able to open your mouth and sing in tune and to sound good. <laughs> So yeah, I'd love to be able to sing. Number 60, what is your favourite pizza? Okay, so pizza, as long as it's gluten free, I can have now and again. It's possibly a bit of an odd choice. I don't know if it's an odd choice. Some people seem to think it is, but I really like tuna and sweet corn on pizza. Is that strange? I don't know, but I like it. 61. Describe your ideal man in three words. Oh, um, I think... Uh, funny. Open-minded and... Understanding? I don't know. There's so many more things I could think about, but that's what the three that first came to my mind. 62. What is something you've learnt from your kids? I don't have kids, so I can't answer that one. 63. At what age were you happiest? That's a tough question because the only time I remember feeling like completely happy is probably like, I don't know, when I was sort of under the age of seven. There have been, like, obviously there's been times, like, since then that I have felt happy and stuff. But it, it seems to have always been tinged by, like, depression or something like that. So it's kind of a sad thing to admit, but yeah, probably, like, under seven. 64. What's your favourite quote? I really like the quote. Um, it'll be something like, it'll be okay in the end if it's not, no, what is it? It'll be alright in the end. If it's not alright, then it's not the end. I had that, like, when I was in hospital, like, pasted on my wall. Um, and I don't know, it just gave me a bit of comfort that, okay, things weren't okay then, but that, that wasn't the end. There was more to come and that things would get to be okay. 65. Where do you go when you need to be alone? Um, I'll either come up to my room and just, like, put some music on or switch the telly on. Um, or I'll have a bath, um, 
there's not really because I have quite a big family there's not really many places I can go to be completely alone so my bedroom is kind of like the only place and because I can't drive oh I can drive but not particularly go anywhere sometimes I might just go for a little drive if I'm feeling up to it um but yeah probably more often than not it would just be to come up to my room 66 what's the biggest thing on your mind right now um there's probably two things on my on my mind right now the first thing is my health which is always on my mind because there's always something happening and there's always like medical appointments or problems or whatever so that kind of is always on my mind. I think the other thing that's on my mind at the moment is uni because I have so much work to do and my mind is constantly like going through what I need to get done. So that's that's pretty like close to the front of my mind at the moment. 67. What's the best activity to do at home on a rainy day? On a rainy day, I love to like put some comfy clothes on, um, and just chill out with a DVD, like generally a Disney DVD, that's always good. Um, and just like hibernate a bit I think, not do an awful lot. Maybe have like a nice warm bubbly bath um, and just chill, like not do much at all really. 68. What's a book that you read in school that positively shaped you? Um, when I was in junior school I was really into the books from Jacqueline Wilson I loved like Tracy Beaker, The Suitcase Kid um, what other books is she right? The Illustrated Mum, was that one of them? Like, I read all her books and I remember her coming to visit us at school once and I went to meet her and got some of my books signed and it was just amazing and I do think that her books kind of help to shape me because they give you an insight into the lives of different people and it just made me think about different situations I suppose like the suitcase kid like you know moving house and stuff and Tracy Beaker being in a care home and things it just helped open my eyes a bit to the fact that not everybody had the life that I had um, and to be honest I still love her books now I think she's a fantastic author so yeah that's those are probably the books that really made an impact on my life 69 on a scale of 1 to 10 how excited are you about life right now it varies a lot sometimes I'm probably like at a 3 because life just doesn't feel exciting and it feels difficult and yeah rubbish other times I sort of go up to like an 8 when I'm thinking like a bit more positively I suppose that you know things you know like there's still like the whole future ahead and like exciting things could happen and stuff so yeah it tends to vary number 70 what is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten i don't eat a lot of weird food if i'm honest um uh, what have i done i tried an oyster once which isn't particularly weird but they're not very nice I don't know, I'm quite a fussy person with food so I just don't tend to try strange foods because I just know I won't like them. 71. What is the hardest thing about being a mum? Again, I don't have kids so no idea. 72. Is there a dessert that you don't like? Yes, I do not like cheesecake. Just, it makes me feel sick. I don't know, like, I used to like it, I think, and then when I was in hospital with my eating disorder, it was one of the puddings that we were, like, made to eat because you had to finish your dinner, and it, like, I think since then it's just, I just can't get my head out of, like, that experience, and I just do not like it at all. And number 73, can you draw a fast portrait of yourself? Uh, yes. Possibly not a very good one, but let's give it a go. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this properly, but I'm going to draw me with my hair down, I think. And there we go. <laughs> As I said, it's not going to be a very good for, uh, portrait. Maybe that should be another skill that I need to have, is to learn to draw. But there we go. There is me. And that is the end of my 73 questions. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me. I've certainly had to think about me quite a lot with those questions. Um, but yeah, thanks to Hannah Mags for doing it. I think she originally saw the questions done on the Vogue YouTube channel, so you can check that out as well. 
Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to see more videos, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a like and a thumb. No, that's the same thing. A like and subscribe to my channel. Um, it's free to subscribe and you get to see more videos. And that is just good because it makes me happy. Um, but yeah, I will see you all again in another video very, very soon. Until then, I will see you soon.